Amazing eruptions of the Fuego volcano continuously are happening in the Guatemala. Uh, this is a volcano, a stratovolcano, which has a, a style of the eruption which we call phreatic and creates a lot of ash plumes. And ash plumes, uh, as you can see here, rising in the air, create a lot of uh, static electricity and cause these lightnings. And the reason that this uh, volcano produces so much ash is actually because the magma that produces this ash is actually very water rich. How we know it is water rich? The Cocos Plate is an oceanic plate, part of the Pacific Ocean, we should say. And when it goes under the North American plate, uh, it carries a lot of sediments. These sediments have been for you know millions of years in the water, so they're water rich. The minerals of them are corroded. They have also water in there, crystalline structure. And when they go inside the earth back, because they have the water content, when they get heated up, they easier uh, melt uh, to melt, and they melt and they come up as water-rich magma. This means the crystals that they have, they like biotite and mica and such things, um, uh, amphibole. They have a lot of water in them. This water. Eventually, when it erupts as this uh, lava eruptions, is uh, causing explosion. It creates a steam. It comes, on, comes out of the structure of the uh, crystals and creates steam. And they explode and they expand suddenly, causing these explosions, as you see. And that is the reason we have these kind of eruptions with a lot of ash, ash plumes. As you can see, even from the space, you can you can watch them. And there is a, a magma pool always active in this volcano. This is part of the Ring of Fire, as I mentioned. As you can see, we are looking toward the right side of it, where the North American plate is there. And it's one of the best examples, very active probably at this uh, time of the year.